I'd be okay with the trend of more stunt people making movies. Hello everyone, it's G from The F Word here to do another review. Extraction, a movie from Netflix starring Chris Hemsworth and first-time director Sam Hargrave. If you've never heard of Sam Hargrave, it's because he's been a stunt guy. But you have heard of his work, Avengers Endgame, Captain America Civil War, Atomic Blonde, so the guy can do some stunts. And he's worked with the Russos, so it's no surprise that they're producing this. And obviously Chris Hemsworth has worked with the Russos, so there's no surprise that he's in this. Overall, a really good combination of people, which makes for a pretty good time. So Chris Hemsworth plays a guy named Tyler Rake. He's a black ops merc. He suffered a tragedy, which kind of makes him not give a shit. Like, he does death-defying things, like you saw in the trailer where he jumped off the cliff. And he goes in and faces danger and does kind of dumb shit because he just could not care less. It's like uh, Russian roulette. And he's just waiting for that bullet to be in the chamber next time he does something. So in the words of Paul Rudd from Forgetting Sarah Marshall, there's some pain behind those eyes. And he is tasked to save or extract a drug dealer's kid named Ovi, captured by another drug dealer. And it's Tyler Rake's job to get him out. All the while, the drug dealer's father has got one of his people to go save him as well. Now, people are going to compare this to John Wick. That's not a bad thing. Comparing things to other things, especially if it's like in a good way, is a good thing. The opening scene is very much kind of like John Wick 1. There are a lot of single take action scenes, which is always a good thing. And you can tell Sam Hargrave has been paying attention. He put together something that works without being too much of a cliche about it either. You look at a character like Tyler Rake. He has suffered something, but he doesn't take it out on everybody. He has a pretty decent yet distant relationship with the people around him. He's not a dick just to be a dick that he just wants it to end at one point because of his tragedy it actually affects his decisions on how to execute certain things later on with other characters and he's also not too macho to ask for help like there's one scene where he looks to Ovi to help him just like hold something like he's bandaging himself up and typically you wouldn't see something like that you'd see our badass here just try to go at it by himself and then the little kid or something would be like hey do you want help and he'd be like no I don't want any help and then that was it and there is some humor in this but it's like situation like at one point he's fighting this group and he's not going all out and then just some of the like the movements that he's doing and some of the things that he says while it's going on is actually funny structurally it does have some issues like after that big chase scene that everyone's talking about which is as badass as everyone is saying it is and the knife fight scene which is unbelievable the whole movie just kind of slows right down and yes it's bringing us in to kind of continue with the story and kind of build on our characters but it goes from from like a thousand to zero really quick. You do catch your breath eventually, but then it kind of trails off a little bit. It's like you just sprinted really fast and now you're just on the couch. And then at that point, there's a cameo from a pretty prominent actor and you're kind of like, well, they could have gotten anybody to play this. It's not a bad thing that this person's in this. It's just could have gotten somebody else. It ends up picking up, obviously, as most movies do. And towards the end, there's this really cool scene on a bridge. I liked how Sam Hargrave actually has a cameo in this and his character's name is G. But in the beginning, he kind of came out of nowhere. So you're like, uh, okay throw yourself in there you're the director and the thing i liked is how the relationship between tyler rake and ovi wasn't like ovi's trying to have a relationship with him and he's trying to have a relationship with the kid it's just two people in a situation just trying to get out of it and ovi does a good job of not being in the way and it's one of those cases where like the child actor does a good job and you're not annoyed by him and you don't mind that he's there i would totally recommend this movie it was fun the action was good all the performances are really good the one take scene again is just awesome Chris Hemsworth does a really good job and could really find a career as an action star going forward like to a Keanu Reeves level I think and I can see myself just putting this thing on every once in a while being like what are we gonna watch I don't know let's just watch Extraction sweet so let me know if you've seen Extraction if you're excited for Extraction if you have thoughts on Extraction if you want to extract extract wait that doesn't make sense in the comments below hit that subscribe button hit that like button and make sure you check out some of our other videos you can find me on Twitter at the F words G you can email us at the F word podcast at gmail.com make sure you're following the F Word podcast on Instagram and Facebook. And until next time, I'm G and I'm out.